Hey everyone, it's Jimmy again. Um, I'm going to tell you about Quicker Expedition. Now, a lot of people think that Quicker is actually a, a reference manager, and yeah, I guess it does a lot of reference management, but from my perspective, I've been building Quicker mainly for research management, and Quicker Expedition is actually the first step into the foray of when you are doing your research, what should you be reading next? Uh, there's a big bad world out there. When I was doing my uh, masters in Cape Town, I had to pay $20 for every journal paper I wanted to read and half the time you download one and it'll be utter garbage. Uh, here when I got to Cambridge, um, everything's paid for, but suddenly you have tens of thousands of papers coming back at you in Google Scholar and honestly in both instances you don't know what to read next unless you've got a supervisor, someone to tell you what you should be reading. Really it's potluck until you really get to know the field. Well that's where Expedition comes in. So let's fire up Expedition. What it tells you is you need to have uh, a lot of the titles of your papers already populated. So use the BibTeXt sniffer to do that. Titles are really important. Uh, Quicker uses the titles to build its auto tags, so you don't have to be tagging your papers. Quicker will tag them for you. But those auto tags and your tags, if you want to add them yourself, are very important for putting together the expedition that you're going to make through your library. So once you've populated your titles, you're ready to rock and roll. You're also going to need about, I don't know, probably at least 30 papers in your library. Um, if you've got 500 or 1,000 like I've got, uh, that's where Expedition really comes into its own. So what you do is pick your library. I'm just going to pick my existing library here. Um, there we go. So what is Expedition? Well, basically, Expedition, Quick Expedition runs through your library and it comes up with the top themes that it can find in your library. Now a theme is a pretty ephemeral thing, I mean obviously there's no uh, definite delineation between themes and fields of science and research, but what Quicker does is it comes up with sets of themes and you'll see some of them are sort of duplicate, some of them are sort of uh, similar to other themes, but really it has split your library into pieces. And what you'll see is here at the top is the theme number and a few single words, the entire phrases and the technical terms of what that theme's about and then the papers that are relevant to that theme. And as you can see, I go through my library. Negative matrix factorization is a very important area of my research. You can see here it clumped all those papers together automatically. You can see um, latent semantic in indexing is a, is a clustering algorithm. It's used for similarity between papers. Um, half my research has to do with citation analysis and who are authors, that kind of thing. And so you can see uh, Quicker Expedition has really pulled apart my corpus of data. There's latent directly allocation, text segmentation, all the things I've used in my research. Quicker's done it on its own with very little work on my part other than getting all my metadata in order. And I needed to get all that metadata and those titles in order because I'm using those to type up my, my thesis at the moment. So once you've done that, click on a paper. It'll then go into detail about that paper. It'll show you the paper. You can move around the paper just to remind yourself what the front page is. Maybe read the, the bibliography. Um, what it then tells you is that these are the themes that this particular document is. So this document by my supervisor, it's about citations. It's about scientific articles and evaluating the structure of those articles. It uses co-citation. It uses multi-document summarization. It also uh, mentions uh, some of the techniques that are in the paper, Bayesian, Markov models, graphical models, those kinds of things. Over here we have the papers that are very similar to this paper. So in this column here is all the papers that are very similar to this theme. And over here we've got all the papers that are very similar to this paper. Over here is the usual metadata editor control. You can see the annotations you might have made on those papers. There you can see I've edited. It tries to suck out the abstract for you. And again, you can tag as you will, as, as you've been used to. Uh, if you've paid for premium, you can get a much longer list of the papers in each theme. And I mean, I've been finding it very useful now that I'm writing up, for example, writing up the literature review on, um, on um, conditional random fields. Uh, I can't even remember the name there, but they have CRF, and you'll notice in the tooltip, it's got conditional random fields there. Quicker found that out automatically. Um, I can actually see these are all the papers in my library that have to do with uh, conditional random fields. Have I read them all? Have I uh, remembered to cite them if I need to cite them? That kind of thing. I really hope you love Expedition. This is the first step for Quicker in telling us what we should be reading next, that we're not spending lots of time playing guessing games. 
Let me know. Give me feedback what you think it's like. Thanks very much. Cheers.